Okay, welcome. This is just a video walkthrough of using the Jade add-in for Excel, the JavaScript automation development environment. Uh, it's an add-in. A uh, prior video has showed us how to install that, so I'll just go ahead and open this add-in up. And we're going to walk through the basic functionality here. So we're going to start off by just clicking on Add a Code Module. And I'll go ahead and type in Demo for the name here. And Add. So what that has done is it has given us now a new code module with some sample code in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this code does. The first one we've got here is a function called write timestamp. And so what this is going to do is it's just going to, um, in JavaScript, make a new date and put that into the values of whatever range is selected. So if I'm over here in my workbook and I've got, say, B2 selected, and I run, you'll notice that the write timestamp is the function that's currently selected to run. I'll run and that will put the timestamp there into the current time or into the current cell. This uh, auto exec function is just one that will run automatically whenever uh, Jade opens. And right now these are all commented out, but there's some things that we could uncomment here if we wanted to have some actions happen automatically when we open up the add in. I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick edit here. Instead of putting in the date, I'm going to change that to just be a, a text string. So we'll put in hello world here. And when we run now, that should put hello world into the active cell or multiple active or multiple cells if multiple cells are selected. Let's just go ahead and see what happens if we have a syntax error. So I'm going to leave off the closing quote here and uh, we'll try to run that. And that tells us then, uh, instead of trying to run anything, it tells us, hey, we've got uh, an unterminated string constant. It tells us the line number, line number three, and column number 47 where that's happening. So uh, that's how we'll see a syntax error happen. I'll go ahead and uh, replace that closing quote so that we can uh, get this example moving along. Now the thing to realize here is that this code is now a part of this workbook. Uh, and so when I click the Save button, it actually saves this code into the workbook, but it's not until the workbook is saved that the code is really saved uh, to disk. So let me go ahead and just save this uh, workbook. And I'll put it in my downloads and we'll call it Demo. Notice that we're going to leave it as an XLSX workbook. We don't have to have an XLSM, a macro-enabled workbook for this, uh, even though it does have code. So now I could close that workbook uh, and then reopen it. Open up the environment again. Now you'll see that I've got uh, a code editor, open code editor choice here because it recognizes there's already code here. So I'll go ahead and open that up uh, and we can see that the code that we created is still here and of course it still works. Now the green bar here at the top allows us to navigate through different panels of our development environment. So here it tells me I'm on my demo module but I can come back here to the home screen from here and this takes me back to the to the beginning. Now what I'd like to do next is I would like to see what it takes to import a code module. So let's go ahead and import a module. Okay, so to import a code module, I'm going to click here on import code module. And this is actually asking me for a gist ID. So a gist is just a kind of a quick example of code that's available on GitHub. And this is really where Jade is wired to be able to pull in uh, pull in modules. So that's going to require an ID for a particular gist. And you can get this ID in the description of this video. So I'll just go ahead and plug in that ID and uh, import. And that should bring in now this module. This module has, uh, I think, three different functions in it. So one, it's going to create some sheets. And it's going to create a, uh, 10 sheets or so that have uh, that are named after different varieties of Apple. It has another sheet here called Sort Sheets, and that's really what we're after here. We want to be able to see the ability of uh, the Jade add-in or code written here in the Office JS environment uh, to be able to sort sheets. Uh, and then we've got another one here that's going to delete sheets. We'll try to delete those same uh, those same sheets by those same those same names. 
So you'll see that uh, Create Sheets is the uh, active function here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run to create those sheets. And we can see down here that it's created those, uh, those different sheets. They are not in alphabetical order. Uh, S is our first worksheet now. It starts with an S, then E, B, F, and so forth. So now I'd like to just switch this over to Sort Sheets, and we'll run that function. And we can see then that it has sorted those sheets now alphabetically. So if we come over here, we'll see our first one is A, uh, uh, Ambrosia, Braeburn, Cameo, Dabinet. And so these are all the sheets now all sorted in alphabetical order. So that's just the idea of importing a module and then how we're going to run the different functions that are in that module. All right, let's take a look at one of the other features. I'm going to come back to my home screen. And now let's take a look at show examples. And so there are several examples that we have kind of built in here. And so each one of these then shows doing a specific little thing. So adding a worksheet that'll bring in that example of you know, what it takes to connect on to uh, uh, Excel and then r run these various procedures. So we're going to add a worksheet named invoice. We'll activate it uh, and then we'll kind of wait for that result to happen. So uh, interesting thing is that these examples actually are live code as well. So if I click Add Worksheet, we'll see that it will create that worksheet and activate it. Another interesting thing is that the examples are themselves editable. So I could come over here and maybe we'll add one called the balance sheet. And uh, now if we uh, click the Add Worksheet button, it will add one called balance sheet. And so these are directly uh, editable and you can uh, play around with the examples right there. These don't get saved. Next time we um, load this add-in, this will be, uh, we'll go back to the way it was before. So those are uh, how the examples work. There's quite a few of them here and uh, hopefully we'll add more in the future. Go ahead and go back to the home page and let's take a look at the next one. So we've got this thing called list automations and if I click on list automations, it's going to show then a page that just allows us to run the various automations that we have in this workbook. So timestamp here is going to do our hello world uh, example. Not a very good name for it. Maybe we'll change that here in just a minute. Uh, but these other ones are here as well. So uh, delete worksheets should delete those uh, worksheets named after the Apple, uh, the various apples. Um, create worksheets should bring those back and sort worksheets should uh, do the sorting uh, as well. So. Your active automations are just automations that are um, configured to be able to show. Now, the reason that they have these names and these descriptions here goes back to how they are configured. So why don't we go ahead and modify that for our timestamp. We'll go change this one to say hello world instead of this, uh, uh, this timestamp since it does something different now. So I'll come back to the uh, Open My Code editor and uh, you'll notice I have two modules now. I've got the short sort sheets module and the demo module. So it's opened up to the demo module. And I'm just going to come in here, maybe make this a little bit bigger. And instead of, you'll notice here that we've got a comment, a block comment, that uh, says Jade Listing. This is how it knows to display this in the list of active uh, automations. So it has a name and a description property. And so we'll change this name to say hello. And the description will say this sample function, instead of records the current time in the selected cell, we'll just say writes hello world to the selected cell. In the selected cell. Uh, so now if I come back and go, come, let's see, we've got to make sure I save that, and then come back to my home example and come back to list automations we'll see that uh, that's been updated here. All right, let's take a look at the next feature. So we have uh, view documentation here, and if I click on view documentation, it's just gonna go ahead and open up a web page that uh, shows the documentation uh, for this add-in. So we got some links to the, uh, the help, uh, or rather to the documentation at uh, Microsoft for working in this environment. Um, basics of using uh, Jade here and actually uh, this very walkthrough that we're recording right now is step-by-step -step here in the uh, in the support page. So that's uh, the uh, documentation there so that's uh, what that is. Now the next one here is uh, send feedback. This is going to allow you to uh, let us know 
basically uh, if you're having issues or if there's some new feature you'd like so you could come in here and say request a feature that's going to apply to all platforms if you'd like us to reach back out to you, you can put an email address in here or uh, leave that blank and uh, just then come in here and say uh, it would be great if uh, and then whatever your feature request is we'll go ahead and hit submit and that will send a request actually it'll send a request uh, to our form and the developers actually will get uh, emailed every time you submit one of these so uh, we're keeping an eye on those and uh, really want to develop this as the way that uh, folks find to use it best all right the last one here is uh, settings we'll go ahead and open up settings and we've got a few things that we can change here um, the first one is uh, just like we imported that gist to be able to um, uh, you know import that code module just so is also where we store the examples and so if you were to, to go to the gist that's identified by this you could see how those that example page is set up and if you're an instructor who's uh, teaching JavaScript or Excel automation you could put your own examples in here and uh, give that out as a workbook that your students could then have access to or let them you know, give them the code that they could plug in there that would change what examples are visible um, we'll talk about this load just um, uh, code here in just a minute uh, these other four options here are for controlling how that code editor shows so if we want we can change various different styles here that are uh, set up for this editor so we could use a night so it comes come out of a dark one if I hit save there then go back to my code editor we're now in dark mode here on this code editor come back to my home and settings again so you, you have changes over that you can change uh, how word wrap happens if you want it to word wrap or not word wrap and indent the word wrap and so forth you can change the editor size here and, and decide if you're going to show line numbers or not in the editor all right so let's take a look then at this load code just ID I think to do this one, we'll go ahead and open up a new workbook. So I'll open a new workbook and uh, open up my editor and then come back in here to settings. So we saw up here earlier how to import code from a module. So that would, or import a code module, we would give that a gist ID and that would go and import that code right here into this workbook. But what load code uh, does is again, you'll drop in a gist ID there, but instead of importing it, it'll just say, oh, this is code that we would like to execute uh, not import here but just run it from here and so now when this workbook opens or when this add-in opens on this workbook it's going to go ahead and, and bring that code in so I'll go ahead and click Save here uh, and now that that code actually uh, is you know going to give us more of a development uh, kind of more of an application feel here uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close the editor the um, the Jade add-in and open it up again and, and now it should launch the code that was in that in that um, in that module that we brought in from gist and so this is actually an example of you know what the interface would look like if I built this out using HTML this is a, a kind of a fictional company here uh, CoFront Laboratories does DNA analyses uh, and this is just code that's going to build an invoice uh, for them so here we see that uh, we've got their, their customer here in Sweden, a hospital in Sweden, who's ordered some DNA tests and amount to $5,000. Well, um, kind of another interesting thing here is that we've got this, uh, now this other tool that this add-in has, or that this module has built here, is the ability to convert this uh, into the current exchange rate with uh, whatever currency they use in Sweden, uh, probably, the, uh, probably the euro, probably part of the European Union. So uh, we'll go ahead and put an API key here, and you can pick up a free API key over here at uh, Alpha Vantage, which is the service that we're using for this. But let me go ahead and get my API key put in here. And we'll convert this invoice. So this is, when I click Convert here, it's going to use this API key in the add-in. We'll go make a request to Alpha Vantage, get the current exchange rate, and adjust this worksheet. So, oh, how strong. They're not part of the European Union, so uh, I guess their currency is the Krona. But uh, this is now built for their uh, um, for the for, for the current uh, exchange rate for that particular currency. Now that that exchange rate information has been brought in, we can toggle currency back and forth. So between the uh, krona and the U.S. dollar.
So the nice thing about this is, is that code is not here in this workbook. That code gets imported, gets brought in whenever this, this add-in loads, but it's not stored in this workbook. And so if I've got multiple people using uh, a particular automation that I've created, I can store that out there as a gist and have the workbook just bring that in so that if I have to update the code, I update it over there on GitHub, uh, and then the application is automatically updated for everyone who's going to use it from that moment on uh, as soon as they reload the add-in or next time they open the workbook. So that's going to be a great way for me to be able to uh, manage a distributed, uh, distributed use, a um, workbook automation that's used in a distributed fashion. So I'll not save that and come back to my other workbook. Okay, so there's one feature that we don't really get to see uh, from the from the main menu here. So let me come back to my code editor, and I'll switch over to my short my sort sheets module. So this sheet has over here has this delete sheets function that's going to try to delete these sheets, and actually it has all these names of the worksheets. I'm going to try to go through those one at a time and delete them. Well, it's going to be a problem if we try to uh, delete that code and it's not uh, and the worksheet isn't there uh, and so basically we've got then a catch statement here that is saying listen we're going to we're going to try to um, delete a sheet by the given name we've got a loop that's going through these all these names here we'll try to delete it and if it fails we're going to call this jade.print and so this is just a place uh, of course we can write things out to the uh, the, to the console with console.log uh, so if I like right click and inspect this, that will bring up the um, uh, the JavaScript console here, and so we could use console.log to put information out here. In fact, I'll, we are. I'm going to go ahead and console.log out uh, the error and the heading here, so we'll be able to see that. But then we can also write that so that we can see it directly here in the add-in using jade.print. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and run this delete sheets. And uh, that should clear all those out just fine. But now if I try to run that again, those sheets aren't going to exist. And so it's going to have these uh, errors, which we're you know, not going to fail, but we're handling them gracefully here because we've got the try catch block set up. So I'm going to go ahead and run that again. And let's go ahead and take a look at then what we printed out here. So. Here what we're saying is that we're going to do a console.log when we have the error. And so we see these uh, each of these um, errors being printed out. So we're trying to delete these sheets, and they're not, um, you know, it's, it's failing here, but we're catching that error. But you can see that it's also done a jade.print here, not able to delete a worksheet with that spec specified name. And so to be able to see that, where those prints go, I'll come over here to uh, the output screen. And so uh, the output screen by default has this little description about the screen as well as kind of how to use it. So I'll go ahead and close that panel. And then we can see that we've got this unable to delete block and it's then uh, shown us all these errors. So it's written this here. So this output panel is uh, really intended for development. Uh, you could display this to the user in certain contexts, I guess, if you wanted to. But uh, that's a, kind of another feature and extension here that's made by made by this add-in as well. One of the things that you may notice if you've worked in the, in the Office JS environment is uh, you can't alert. The standard JavaScript function alert uh, is just not available. Let me come back to my demo module and uh, why don't we uh, go ahead and alert hello world as well. So if we uh, do the alert function here and then run uh, this right timestamp, then we'll see that uh, Jade has actually given you back the alert function. So it'll just display that message uh, right up here in the top in uh, a, a little window. Okay, so that's a basic walkthrough of the uh, core functionality of the Jade add-in. Uh, I plan to be making uh, lots of videos kind of showing this add-in, the add-in that I wrote and so I uh, want people to be able to learn how to use it uh, and so forth. So um, if you're uh, kind of interested in this content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and uh, you'll get notified when I get the new videos posted.